Dave after that. <laughs> Tom, you're up. Okay, I'll wait, wait for the mayor to get a seat. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, just wanted to give you a, 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 a briefing on uh, the status of <clears throat> two items. One is uh, the, uh, the, the status of the North Star Quarter Development Authority itself. And, and then uh, and just a little discussion with you about, uh, you know, what's going to happen with North Star Link here moving forward. I, I think you're aware that there's been some discussion of you know, what's going to happen with the NCDA. Uh, there, there isn't an active uh, movement for the NCDA to, to, to bring the train to St. Cloud that's somewhat stalled. Uh, they, they really don't have, uh, uh, they're finding themselves don't, without a sense of purpose at this point. You know, the, the, the big push for the NCDA was to get the North Star Rail Service started. That's been going since 2009. They, um, you know, they helped get some transit-oriented development going at some of the station cities, in Oka and Big Lake, and, and uh, they got the Ramsey station built, and, and that that stop <coughs> added. Uh, but they were finding themselves without a whole lot to do. The last couple of years, they've had pretty poor attendance at the uh, budget meetings at the end of the year, having a hard time getting a quorum from the. The, the member cities and townships from, from throughout the corridor to come. They've, they've asked those that don't wish to participate to resign and they, they haven't. The bylaws require members that no longer want to participate to send a letter of resignation. Well, they've, they've asked those member jurisdictions that don't participate to do so. Well, they, a lot of them don't even respond. So they've had the, the, the county representatives, <coughs> county commissioners call and say, would you please and, and try to ask them politely, well, they get, don't get a lot of response. So we end up having budget meetings and have a hard time finding a quorum. Uh, so the discussion at the uh, North Star Quarter and Open Authority Executive Board has been, you know, do we continue need to continue to exist? Uh, if if the answer is yes, what should it look like? And if the answer is no, you know, what's the process? How do we how do we shut it down? Uh, at the last meeting, Ryan and, and Paula and I have been in, involved in some of that discussion because of the operation of North Star Link. We want to protect that with whatever happens to the NCDA. We th feel it's important that we have some protection here that, and, and, and feel it's important that North Star Link continue to operate. You know, we don't want to see that fold because the NCDA <coughs> doesn't exist. They, they recognize the same. The, the executive committee feels the same way. They, they feel it's necessary for North Star Lake to continue operation even if the NCDA doesn't. Now our, our current funding mechanism for uh, the North Star Lake service is twofold. One is the state of Minnesota. The other is the NCDA through the, the, the counties providing funding through their rail authorities. The, the discussion at the last executive committee meeting on uh, June 9th was to the effect of the NCDA folding at the end of the year. Uh, there, there's, there's some money payback and some things that would have to happen, which their, their legal counsel is providing them guidance on what to do there. Uh, the, the thought would be that, that would just, they would just disband, but would continue in an effort to keep North Star Link going. So there would be a, somewhat of an, an organizing committee of sorts that would keep uh, North Star Link and allow us to still get our local dollars instead of coming through the commission, because we're telling them that we don't think it's appropriate that the commission would have to be on the hook for the local share of North Star Link. It's, it's really a regional service that still needs the county's support. Um, Hennepin and Anoka are two of the four counties, along with Stearns and Sherburn. They're, they're struggling a bit with whether they want to participate. They don't see a lot of benefit in, frankly, providing local share for operating assistance to North Star Link. Um, they all provide operating assistance for North Star Rail Service through the county's Transit Improvement Board and they feel that's enough. However, they're two of our largest 
budget <coughs> counties in the state and we're asking for frankly peanuts it's like 20 grand a year to help support North Star Lake it's they they lose that in rounding off in their budgets uh, I think it's the principle that they're holding their ground on is that they don't feel it's necessary to continue supporting North Star Lake. So, that, so that's kind of a side issue that they're having to deal with. Stearns and Sherburn, on the other hand, feel it's necessary that they continue in being a, a strong advocate for North Star Lake, an extension of the rail service, and supporting the service continually. So if an Oak and Hennepin in the end decide that they're out, uh, Stearns and Sherburn have pledged that they're gonna continue providing whatever's necessary to keep it going. So that's encouraging. So on uh, the North Star Lake side of things, uh, the discussion was to create a, a what they're kind of calling like a master funding agreement would be directly between us as the operator and whatever counties remain. If it ends up being Stearns and Sherburn, then it's a, a, a joint contract between them and us to provide the local share for capital operating assistance to continue North Star Lake. I've mentioned to you in past discussions on uh, the need to replace some of our buses. You know, our our coaches uh, are all 2000, 2001 vintage. They've they've exceeded their useful life by several years. Uh, they need to be replaced. The state has pledged some capital dollars to us to replace them, uh, but the state is also requiring a five-year commitment for continued operation of the link service. And in order to do that, the, the whatever group is left, whatever group of counties, whether it be the two counties or, or all four, need to sign on to that agreement with us to continue North Star Lake. Or the state won't come up with the money. The state has emphatically said, you have to have a five-year agreement or no capital money. In fact, they may even, they may even not be as interested in pro providing operating assistance because they want to know if their investment, they want to know if they're gonna make an investment in North Star Link, that they're getting something for that investment. And I think we largely feel the same way, that if, you know, if we're gonna continue, uh, because we, we also make a pretty sizable investment in the Link service beyond, beyond what the state provides. You know, we, we provide a lot of personnel services here. We maintain this fleet, uh, marketing activities that we do. And uh, you know, those are all very important to us. As, as part of our operation. And our own service connects with the North Star Link. It's, it's integrated into our system. Uh, so bottom line, uh, we need to have a five-year agreement with whatever group is left. Uh, again, Stearns and Sherburn have pledged their willingness to do so. Uh, we don't know exactly what Anoka and Hennepin are gonna do. We will probably know at the August uh, North Star Corridor Development Authority Executive Committee meeting, which is, I think, just been scheduled for August. Fifth. August, the first week of August, I believe. August fifth. August fifteenth at two thirty. Fifteenth of August. Yep. So Monday the fifteenth. So that's that's kind of the the meeting where the four counties are going to have to decide what they're going to do because they have to set their rail authority levies by September 15th. So they're, they're working on their own county budgets. They're gonna need to know by August what they're gonna budget. Um, on the capital side of things, Stearns has actually offered to pay the local share of up to three coaches, which is about a, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be a million, seven million eight total expense. They're gonna have to come up with roughly 300,000, 360,000. They've indicated an interest in providing that 20% match, which is a, a nice offer, with the hope that they get paid back over some period of time by the other uh, by the other partners. So that's kind of where we where we stand today. I, I think we're in probably pretty good shape to keep the link service going. I, I think Stearns and Sherbert are going to help us out. We, we also are going to have some discuss, continued discussion with the state about maybe upping their share of state participation in the operating cost. Right now they're at 52% of our budget is covered by the state. 
they can cover up to 80 percent so we're talking about asking them to maybe ratchet up maybe each of the five years increasing the state share or even maybe a shorter period of time to maybe get us to the eight percent at some point which then as our cost of doing business increases we can maybe keep that county local share at a more manageable level let the state pick up some of that extra expense one of the other things in, in some discussion even today is uh, you know we don't know exactly what the service structure is going to look like in five years you know, we may have to make some schedule adjustments and some things we don't know what Metro Transit is going to do with the train schedule. There's been some discussion of some midday service. If that's the case, do we provide connecting service to those midday trains? Then what happens to our Friday service that goes all the way to Minneapolis? Do we discontinue that to meet the train? So there's some things that we're going to probably have to work on over the next five years. Uh, so we can't really tell the group that the budget's going to be fixed for five years. You know, it might have to vary based on what happens with Metro Transit. Because we want to be responsive to connecting to all the trains that operate out of Big Lake. I, I think that's important. Uh, we don't want to leave anybody stranded. We do connect with everything during the week. We do still have some holes on the weekend where we don't provide connections to the train. And maybe that's something that gets filled in in, in the future here too. Uh, currently we have no plans to, but you know, we, we can start that discussion. Uh, let's see what else am I hitting? I think that's that's really the bulk of where we're at today uh, on, the, on the North Star development <coughs> authority and the North Star link discussion uh, we'll uh, get certain affiliate in at our August meeting which would be the day after the, um, the, 15th. the 15th meeting with the uh, executive committee I, our, my, my gut feeling tells me that Anoka and Hennepin will probably pull out. That it, they're, they're just not, they've not been real friendly with the NCDA. Uh, and I think Stearns and Sherbert are going to say, the heck with you, then we'll, we'll do it ourselves if you guys don't want to play. Uh, but we'll see, see what happens in August. They're, they're supposed to be meeting between now and then to decide what's going to happen. So that's, that's what we know at this point. Questions? Happy to answer any or try to. I have a question. Tom, have you talked to Benton County? No. Okay, no. I was just curious why, if, if there's ever been any conversation with Benton County or? Well, we haven't. I, I know that a couple of our county commissioners on the NCDA have. And, okay. And I think the response from Benton County was absolutely not. We don't want anything to do with it. We haven't had, as a staff level, we haven't had any discussion with him. So we haven't talked to Monty or any his staff to see if they've any interest. We're kind of just taking the lead of our NCDA representatives from Stearns and Sherbert. Okay. But they can certainly be approached again. And, and maybe that's the group that remains, maybe that's a task they can do is ask Benton if they're interested. Help kind of them. users from Benton County. Yeah, yeah, we, we certainly do. I, I'm sure we get mm -hmm. a fair share of them. And I think if we did a license plate survey of the cars parking in our parking ride lot, we'd see probably plenty of them from uh, mm -hmm. Benton County parking there and using our service. Well, there you go. Call your county commissioner. I'll call Monty. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Anything Kim else? Kim Lipson, Soft Rapids. Get her on it. And the next item, executive director and department updates.